Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I'm Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to filter cells that have text in bold font format in it. So here I have this data set where these country names are mentioned and five of these countries are in bold font format. Now this could be the case if you get your data set from a colleague or your manager or your client where they have manually selected a cell and applied the bold font format and you only want to filter these cells. If you use the inbuilt data filter options you will notice that there is no way to do this. You can filter based on the text value that the cell has, you can filter based on the color and you can even filter based on the value, the numeric value it has but you cannot filter based on the text format. So in this video, I will show you three ways to do it. Now the first method of doing is using find and replace. So I will select this entire data set. I would go to the home tab and here within editing in find and select, I have the replace option. You can also use the keyboard shortcut control H. Now if you have used find and replace, you would know that you can find uh, text strings, you can find numbers, you can find formulas, but you can also find specific formats of the cell. So in this case, if you come here and you click on options, it opens these additional options to you. And here within find what you have this format drop down. And if I click on it, you can choose the format from a cell. So what I will do is I'll select this option and now my, my icon changes, cursor icon changes and I would go and select the cell that has the text in bold font format. So let's say I come here and I select Australia and you can see the preview changes. It now shows me the format of this cell. So this is the format that now I can find in the entire data set and in replace with option, I'll again come here to format and I would click on the format option and here I can specify what format I want. So in this case, I have all these tabs and within fill tab, I would apply this color and make sure that this is the color which is not used anywhere else in this worksheet. So you can select from any of these colors. The idea is that I will be using this color to filter these cells. So I want this color to be unique. And now when I click OK and I come here and I click on replace all, you can see that all these cells that had the bold font format now has the color as well. And now I can simply filter based on the color. So I can instantly do it and it will only show me those cells where uh, the text is in the bold font format. So this is one of the methods. Let me press control Z and let me remove this color. The second method of doing this is using a Excel macro function uh, which is the get dot cell function. And now this function is not available in the worksheet. So if I come here and I type get you will not see anything in the IntelliSense because this function cannot be used in the worksheet. But Excel all still has this function and you can use this function in named ranges. So what I would do here is I would create a named range. I would have to come to formulas tab and here I would go to define name and here in new name dialog box, I'll give it a name, let's say filter bold and I will have to specify the formula and I'll have to do this manually. Now get dot cell is not covered online. Uh, so you will not find any help article on, on this. But if you use the formula that I'm giving you, then you'll be able to do this trick. So the formula is get dot cell and the first argument. So this function takes two arguments. The first argument is a number and that number refers to some information about the cell. And in this case, number 20 refers to the bold font format, the text format of the cell. And the second argument would be the cell reference. Now in this case, I would come and I would select A2 here, but I need to make sure that I do not lock the row here because I would be applying this formula in this entire uh, column. So there would be so many different rows covered in it and I don't want to lock the row here. So what I would do is press F2 and then delete the dollar mark. And now when I click OK, I have a named range with the name filter bold. And if I use this just uh, adjacent to these data points and hit enter, it will give me true. And if I copy it for all the cells, you can see it gives me true for all these cells that have the text in bold font format and false if it is not. So let's test it. I'll come to here, let's say to France and here I'll change this to bold. And now if I 
again use this you can see this formula changes it's not a dynamic formula but if you have this data set and you apply the formula it will identify these cells with text in bold font format now what I need to do is simply come here and I'll give a header name to it and I will apply the filter so I'll apply the filter to both these and I can simply filter it by true and it will again give me all the cells that have the text in bold font format let me again press Control Z and remove this column uh, the last method that I want to show you is uh, by using VBA so what we will do is we will quickly create a custom function and that function would work just like the get dot cell function uh, and it will give us true and false if the cell has uh, text in bold font format or not so I would come here to sheet one right click and go to view code and it will open the VB editor the backend of VB editor and here you can see I have these objects so this is book 2 this is the book uh, workbook that is open and here I have sheet 1 I would right click on any of these objects go to insert and then I would go to module and in module I would type the formula that I'm creating the function that I'm creating so it will just be a three line function so I'll say it, call it let's say function filter filter bold text and it will take one argument which would be a cell reference so let's call it cell ref as range and I'm calling this as cell ref as range because the kind of argument it will take would be a cell reference which is a range object and now when I hit enter it automatically inserts end function and I just need one line of code here which is filter bold text which is the name of the function would be equal to cell ref which is the argument that I'm passing to it dot font dot bold and what this part would give me is if the cell is bold then this will give me true and if the cell does not have the text in bold font formatting then this will give me false so now this is my function I can close the VB editor I can come here and now when I type this function you can see I have this function here which is filter bold text and I already know it will not show me any IntelliSense here but I know it only takes it takes only one argument which is this cell reference so I would give it to it and now when I hit enter it gives me true here and when I copy this for all these cells you can see again it will give me uh, these uh, values which is true if the cell has text in bold font format and false if it doesn't again I will have to come here and I'll simply give any name to the header go to data apply filter to it and now I can filter all the cells that have the value true which would mean that all these cells that have the text in bold font format also gets filtered and now I can do whatever I want I can copy these or I can uh, do any calculations anything or you may want to have a look at the count of it you can look at the count of it here so it says 6 out of 10 records but the idea is that using uh, this custom VBA function you can quickly filter the cells that have bold text format so these are the three ways you can filter cells that have text in bold font format in Excel I hope you found this video useful thank you and have a nice day